What is going on guys? Welcome back to some more Soccer Angels. Now that I think about it, I might have accidentally said Nekapar in the last video. I don't remember. That's what I was about to say this time though, but whatever. Um, so yeah, in the last episode, there was a fight, there was a mix-up, and Kenta almost threw up everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's a real interesting thing right there. So anyway, let's get right let's get right back into the booby angels. Okay, so it isn't long before we are right back in my house. And I can have happily say we ran into no more monsters or crazy scythe wielding, wielding girls along the way. I can't believe I even have to take them into consideration now. What has my life become? Reaching the front door of my house, however, I'm posed with a problem. These two girls Instinct, I mean, intent, insist, I can word. Uh, these two girls insist on protecting me, and were just about to follow me straight into my house before I realized they were still there. Somehow I get the idea my parents might be opposed to me bringing in two complete strangers. Okay, this music's a little off-putting for just coming home, but... Girls, at that. Plus, that would just lead to a whole new line of questions from them, and I'd rather not get them involved into this mess, too. So it took a while and a lot of negotiating, and I really mean a lot. Uh, I was pretty much on my knees at one point, but I was able to persuade them that I would be perfectly safe in my house. They finally withdrew for the night, giving me some much needed room to breathe. Uh, they did say that they wouldn't be too far away though, if I ever needed them, and that worries me. I closed the door and almost collapsed against it with a drawn outside. Any borrowed strength I might have had up until this point drained from me completely. What a day. My head aches. My arms throb. My legs feel like they're about to give way. And I can't believe I'm even still standing after all that. Uh, the smell of food is heavy in the air. The aroma enough to make my mouth water. Oh, right. I think I'd forgotten to eat today. Yeah, you, you, you forgot to eat lunch, dude. I should probably fix that. If I want any chance in surviving what tomorrow might bring me. Apparently, I'm just in time, as the food is all set on the table with my parents about to dig in. Uh, the short window of time in the evening is really the only chance I ever get to see my parents outside of the holidays. So I usually cherish these dinners and try to engage with them as best as I can. But today, I can hardly even get a word out. Yeah, what are you supposed to say? Say, hey, mom, dad, I, uh, I almost died like two, two different times. I met two. I have two guardian angels with huge bomb bombs, and uh, a girl, a harpy demon girl with equally huge bomb bombs, just tried to kill me, which was the second time I almost died. So how was your day, mom, dad? <laughs> I sort of just grunt in the direction before I collapse into the dining chair. <laughs> as the metal goes, as the meal goes on, <laughs> the metal. Baka. As the meal goes on, the usual questions come up between us, such as how our days had went. And if I had been up to much. Nope. Ha. <laughs> huh. Despite looking completely shattered, I say it was just like any other day. <laughs> man, if I had a day like that every day, man. <laughs> Ooh, boy. I get concerned, Lurks, but they don't have any reason to doubt me. Before a long dinner's finished, and after several extra helpings, I can't think of anything better to do than call it an early night. I make myself excuse and head for my room. My step's unsteady. I drop into my bed, face first. The mattress giving out a groan like, "Ugh, get off me!" <laughs> uh, I can't. It can't be any later than 9 p.m., and I already went to sleep. Is every day going to be like this from here on out, dude? I hope so. I hope not. Well, I do. I would love that. Minus the dying part, but uh, whatever. While I could just as easily fall asleep in the current position I'm in, there's probably a good risk that I might suffocate. So I guess I might as well do things the proper way. Resisting a joke, if I have to. Uh, I push up off the bed and go to close the curtains. Huh? Maybe I already fell asleep. As I went to close the curtains, my eyes are drawn to an amber glow down in my garden. Fire. A campfire, to be precise. I'll give you three... I'll give you three guesses as to who that campfire belongs to. Wow, I didn't know I was playing Hyper Dimension Neptunia. It's freaking Kenta's breaking the fourth wall here. All right, huh? 
yep. The two magical girls. Sayaka and Hikari seem to have taken, up, up, taken it upon themselves to set up a little base camp in my back garden, complete with a tent and fire. I guess when they said that they'd be close by, they really meant close by. I think they're trying to cook something, going by the pan over the fire. I didn't realize their lives were so rough, with how glamorous they generally look. Oh, they saw me. Sayaka gives an enthusiastic wave in my direction, taking her eyes off the pan. Yeah. Okay, hi. I give a... Jesus. I give a feeble wave back. Somehow I get the feeling I should be worrying about this far more than I am. But, whatever. This could wait until tomorrow. I draw the curtain shut, right as whatever Sayaka was cooking in the pan ignites into a tremendous fire. Ah, oh, jeez. I can only sense like this. I only, I can only sense this is going to be a running gag type of joke, isn't it? I could just about hear Hikari's cry of terror through the window panes. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, letting out one final mighty mighty yawn, I flop backwards onto my bed, and it's not long before whatever sim whatever semblance of consciousness I might have has left drifts into the night. Ow. Okay. Just smack my hand. It didn't hurt. What? Okay, here's the thing that's wrong with me. I, I, I don't know. It's just instinct. Like, I'll be playing... I'll be gamer instinct, I guess. You're playing a video game, you get hurt. Ooh, ow. Oh, God dang, ow. But I just barely smacked my hand. I said ow, and it didn't even hurt. What is wrong with me? I'm becoming Kenta. Um, streams of light uh, filter in from the curtains, rousing me out of sleep that I wanted to last forever. Blah. I have half a mind just to turn over and wrap myself tighter in my blanket. But I guess I have enough to worry about right now without adding being late to school on top of everything else. But, tackle the day. I guess. And I don't like going to school either, man, but you gotta do it. You gotta get your edge vacation, man. Yeah, okay. I roll out from under the covers and crash to the floor with the grace of a sloth. Ow. On top of everything else, still aching from yesterday, and my head thumps once more. Right on schedule. I really wish it would cut me a break. Just this one time. Starting from a crawl along the floor and gradually pulling myself up into a walk as I was evolving in real time. I tuck the curtains open. Huh. I look down at the garden to find it completely empty. Not a trace of a fire, the tent, or the girls. Maybe I was really dreaming last night? I mean, they couldn't really be as stupid as to camp in plain sight like that. The fire alone would be enough for the police to be brought down. That's one less thing for me to stress about, at least. Thank God. Alright. Better not waste any more time, or I'm going to miss my chance to have a proper breakfast like yesterday. Pouring out the dust around my eyes, I start for the bathroom. A nice hot shower would do wonders. I pull open the door to the bathroom, and yep, there we go. <coughs> Vent flag triggered. Eh, what is it, big the guy. Oh, holy my! Mm. Mm, that is nice. Oh my god. Oh, she looks so. She is so cute. I've never had a mixture of emotions where I thought someone was both cute and sexy at the same time. Ooh, uh, Miku and Noir side. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hmm. Mmm, that booty. She got a na just like, whoops, just, just smack that booty. Mmm. Ooh, stockings and ooh, just ooh, that's nice. I, I uh, this is a great way to wake up. What? The bathroom is occupied. Well, no shit. Just, just what are you Well, I can tell you what I'm gawking at, but I'm pretty sure you won't appreciate it. Sorry, my bad. I slammed the door back shut. My heart an erratic mess. That was a close one. Wait a second. Something isn't adding up here. Are you open the door again? <laughs> just, you okay? You walk into the bathroom and you're like, oh, oh, sorry, my bad. Hey, what's going on? Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Kenta, you idiot! Oh my god. 
Let's crack in. All right, let's ring the door open again. The sight taken taken away my breath once more, even though I already knew what to expect. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 What's your point? <laughs> I knew it. It is a car. <laughs> oh god, my oh god, oh all right. Oh, my headphone, my headphone wire, and um. Rather unaddressed, of course. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. She's caught like a deer frozen in headlights, her entire body tensing up in a near uh, statuesque pose. She's down to her rather extravagant underwear, if you don't count the, s the socks she was in the process of taking off. Ooh, why can't you just open the door just a little bit later there, Kinta? Hmm, yes. Uh, huh. Sorry. Huh. You mentioned everything! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh goodness. Oh dear. <laughs> With how she's been for like this, my eyes can't help but gravitate to her rather ample. Kenta! You know, I like the way she's been to her, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> huh? I snapped after whatever days I might have been in by her shrill tone. What? What was I doing again? Hmm. Hey, Hikari. Um, uh, 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 ni a nice, um, nice underwear, by the way. But uh, can, um, so like I was opening the door just a couple seconds ago. So what was I? What was I gonna do it again? Do you know? Yeah, you got any idea? And so, uh, what, uh, 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 he walked me. He close the door. I went okay, but I don't know what closing the door behind me is gonna help. I mean, I'm still in the bathroom here with you. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? Okay, I'll just. Okay, so now that we're in here alone. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Should I be asking what you're doing in my house? <laughs> Her face is beat red. Her face is. Uh, she's practically trembling with anger. It's still frozen in place. I'm looking mighty nice. Nice booty. I, li I like it. But how am I the one that, well, the first, of, well, okay. Okay, yes, I'll, I'll give you this, I'll give you that. Yes, it's your house, but the fact that you still, I don't know. Hey, don't get mad at me. I'm just looking at your nice bomb bombs and your, not, your nice boot. Uh, I don't remember ever giving you guys permission to freely use my house, but you can go ahead. Especially not that. The, the, now that I, there better be a shower, there better be some, there, there better be, Sai, Sai, I could better, just someone better. It, it, somebody better be in that shower later in this game, or else I swear that's a wasted opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Not until you. <laughs> okay, but can you just, um, can you turn around and have a nice picture of your booty? Just a nice picture of your booty. Uh, her eyes give off a dangerous glow. The room rumbling ever so slightly with a frightening power. Uh, I guess this could wait till afterwards. I want to keep my house intact at least. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I bet. Really. Uh, flashing an apologetic smile and laughing nervously. I <laughs> uh, bring the door to a close once more. As demonstrated last night, sometimes retreating is the best course of action. And then he immediately reopens the door. Well, after that, uh, that little uh, situation, I found myself downstairs, both the girls present. Ugh. Sayaka has the same cheerful grin as ever, while Hikari looks like she wants to grab the nearest sharp object she can find and cut me with it. Well, I can see, like, a, I can see a whole bunch of knives back there, but I'm pretty sure she could probably get you with just about anything else in this room. She'd probably grab Sayaka and do it, too. Um, again, that wasn't my fault. How was I supposed to know? So, um, yeah, you guys want to explain yourself? Huh? Uh, what? She tilts her head, giving me a confused look. Oh, come on. How can I be the only one who has to find something strange with this? Well, I mean, what are you guys doing in my house? Using my things? Uh, 
あなたが一人になることもねだからまあシャワーを借りるくらいならいいかなーって I can kind of see that so you pretty much just broke into my house ちょっと行き過ぎちゃったかもでも窓も直したしいいよね Did they broke through a window? I wish there was a button I could replay that laugh. That was an Ashley. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. You did what? I quickly threw a glance about, looking for any windows in sight. No trace of a break in, at least. Jeez, what did he do? Throw a brick through one? I thought people who knew magic would be more subtle. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Everything's daijoubu. I don't mind that brick on the floor, but. <laughs> She tries her best to reassure me with her、uh, limitless optimism. Her hands on her hips with a blinding smile. Can't say I mirror her enthusiasm, though. I bring her palms to my forehead, a headache beginning to set in. And for once, I know the cause of this one. Is this really necessary? Yes. Can't you guys just, like, magic yourself clean or whatever? Dot, dot, dot. I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> Well, I kind of figured that. I get cold stares from both of them. I said the wrong thing again, didn't I? Genta, what does that mean? Hikari finally speaks up again, having got over her mini sulk. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 そんな貴重なエネルギーをシャワーに使うのが利口だと思って Fair point. But what I'm getting out of this is. So, what you're saying is you could magic yourself clean. Her eyes narrow. She takes in a deep breath, her cheeks puffing out dangerously. Why do I suddenly believe fear for my life? Did I read that wrong? Wait, one second. Oh, shit. What? That's a Bahama! Her eyes narrow. Okay,、um, why do I suddenly fear for my ears? What? Fear for. Oh, okay. I, what? Okay. <gasps> oh my god! That is so. That is cute. <laughs> that reminds me of my soccer clicker character. She's a cat girl and has that same expression. Ooh, I think my nose is bleeding a little bit. No, <laughs> but seriously, though.、Mm, that is cute. That is cute. And she called me Baka. That's nice. She sighs instead, the air escaping her in one long, drawn out breath of defeat. My eardrums are safe for another day. Phew. <laughs> I catch a glance at the clock on the wall. All this drama is really eaten into my free time before school. If I don't start breakfast now, there'll be no way I'll make it in time. You guys do whatever then. I'm gonna make some food. I start for the kitchen, but Sayaka cuts me off, sliding in front of me. Her eyes are almost sparkling as she leans forward. If it, has any, if, it's in, if it turns out anything like that little pot of whatever they were cooking last night that just burst into flames, I don't think I'd be comfortable with that. She pulls Hikari in by the arm. Huh? What does she do? Hikari? She tightens her grip on Hikari's arm, a deadly edge behind her otherwise cheerful words. Oh shit. Hmm. Letting them cook. I'm not so sure. Let me save real quick. Okay. So, even though I'm saving, but even though I have the feeling that this choice does not matter in the slightest. So, what's the worst that could happen? I don't see the harm in it, I suppose. She seems to me well, and it. It'd be nice to take it easy after all the stress. Sure, go for it. 
Sack of beans, making me feel confident in my choice. I, I think. Oh, uh, that's a red flag if I ever saw one. With that, she spins on her hair and waltzes into the kitchen, dragging along with her very reluctant Hikari. I take a seat in the connected dining room and ease myself into a chair. This will be fine. Right? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. It starts off well enough anyway. I hear plates and utensils clatter around with cupboard doors uh, battering open. あなた自分で何を作ってるか分かってるの? <laughs> Oh no! Hecky, hecky. Oh no! Everything's not Daijobu! So they let them on Daijobu and Mononano? Oh no! What's it on? What does she was seeing your steel? Oh no! Nanka, Midori Nina Tonai? No! So they all know Seto no? No! I hear the unsettling whoosh of flame. No, it's just like... <laughs> uh, call the fire department. The whole place is getting burned down tonight. <laughs> just how high are they putting it on at that? No, not the ghost peppers. No! If we eat this, we're dead. Dot, dot, dot. Things go silent in the kitchen. I can't tell if that's good or bad. I'm just scared to look. Maybe. Oh god. Something explodes in the kitchen. Oh god, sniper, get down! Uh, th uh thick plumes of... That word. <laughs> Smoke waft into the dining space. Astrid? I don't know. Hmm. Froom. The roar of flame. Did they put grease on it? Oh god. I can see the flickering of amber in my peripheral vision. Hmm. <laughs> Oh mm, when was the last time I heard that one? Hmm. Hentai. <laughs> I hear water splash. A good deal of it. Like an entire bucket's worth of the stuff. Oh, what the? No. Apparently done, um, cooking. The pair into the dining space. Sayaka has a plate in hand, a good amount of steam, or maybe smoke, drifting from it. She puts a plate before me, a sincere smile on her face. I... I guess she really gave it her all. But... This can't be called food. Oh! It's... um... Charred, burnt, crisp remains of what might have been food at some point sit on the plate. It feels like it might be hazardous to even breathe in this stuff. I can see Hikari looking further back, clearly ashamed of whatever... substance they had created. I guess this is my fault for letting them anywhere near the kitchen. I should take responsibility and... Eat the food or refuse to eat the food, I don't want to die. Well, so here's the thing, I, um... Want to be nice, so uh, let's uh, just say, uh, R.E.P. Um, uh, I'll just respawn. Uh, I'll eat the food. I have a, do I have a cho choice, do I? 
I don't want to make her feel bad after she worked so hard to create whatever this is. Here we go then. I get the substance to poke. It crumbles into a fine powder at the slightest touch. Okay. I'm sure though, even though it looks absolutely terrifying, it can't be that bad. Maybe there's something good underneath all these layers of burnt stuff. I scoop as much as I can that doesn't crumble away from my hold and force it into my mouth despite all my instincts screaming at me not to. Fear factor in a nutshell. It's... It's... Sayaka leans in expectantly as I swallow it down. I think this must be what charcoal tastes like. I might pick the urge to choke and give her a small and a nod. Mm-hmm. Oh god. What have I done? And I still have an entire plate of the stuff left. These girls are clearly the real danger to my health and well-being right now. Well, breakfast soon comes to a close with perhaps a more lively start in the morning than I'm generally used to. And with that, we're going to end the episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, make sure to slap that masculine like button right on the booty. And I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. Stay awesome, and be proud of who you are.